Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video here in KDFJ. We're back once again with some more Friday Night Club action. We're back at, uh, we're back up at Abbey Park here today. As today it is Drummond T, the South Armada men here taking the journey up to the city. Now this will be an interesting game. Obviously didn't get to the last Harps game, which I think was two weeks ago now. We did defeat Kalevi there at home in that one, which was a good victory. Another home game, of course, in this one. I guess I'll throw the table up for you right now. So as you can see, Drummond T, um, they've lost four games, they've won one game. Harps have won two, lost two. So... Both the records have been quite even, so it'll be interesting to see how the Harps will fare here in this one. Obviously, Drummond Hill will still be quite a tricky enough side, however, I still do definitely think that the Harps should win this one. But it will be interesting to see how close the game will be, I do think it will be quite close, so yeah, a lot to really delve into this one. It's going to be interesting to see what does go down, and while then, I'll still be wasting much more time here, that's, I'll see you all then, when I get to Abbey Park. We're here now. Literally just about to throw in. What a day for football it is. Amazing weather, amazing conditions. Very, very warm. Game against some on the harps. Early goal. Not even a minute in. Savage start for Drummond T. Here for Drummond Heat. Well work. Oh, lovely point. Half time here at Albi Park. Yeah, it's half time score. 
it's been stale at times, but there's also, there's also been some very good football on display so far. Very even game, two very good sides. Interesting to see what the second half does entail. Second half against one the Harps. Coaches in the hobby. Hold up for steps. Game again, Drummond play all of a sudden, just right back in it. Three points up and nearly uh, full time, I would say now. We're in injury time. Don't have a free kick here. They need to go for goal. So, what they do here is the big question. So lads, there you are then. The Harps defeating Drummond T by three points in the end there. 113 to 110. Now, I thought the game in itself was a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, at times it did grow really, really stale and not much was going on. 
But other times there was some amazing football on display from both sides. Some amazing turnovers, especially from the Harps. And I think that was a big reason as to why we'd have been that game. The amount of turnovers we created in that game were insane. I mean, we had some amazing scores that one as well. The goal, the flick on, I didn't get that one on camera, but it was an amazing flick on by Austin Hughes, which did lead to the goal. Overall, some amazing skills there from the Harps. Drummond Hay, of course, did have some amazing scores as well there in that one, obviously scoring a goal after about 30 seconds. It wasn't a great start there for the Harps, however. Um, we did fight back in the end and probably were the deserved victors. It was quite an even first half. However, second half, Harps probably were the better side, so it was a deserved victory there. So another big win there for the Harps, of course. Back to the drawing board of this for Drummond Hay. But good to see the Harps get their third win of the league campaign. That's Hope we can keep it up then in the next game. So thank you all once again for supporting another match day vlog here in KDFG. We'll see you all here on the. We'll see you all then for the next one.